Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons. This is the second video we're doing about my upcoming class on corner restoration in the public land survey system. If that sounds uh, like having a hole drilled into your cranium, it, it probably feels a little bit like that. So it's tough material, but you gotta know it if you wanna pass the national and state specific surveying exams. So it's very important. So in this video, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna uh, walk you through the course outline, talk about what's actually in the course, and then talk a little bit about the tickets, how the tickets work. I've got three different tickets, types of tickets. We're trying to accommodate uh, different people uh, based on what they need and kind of what their financial situation is. So we'll talk a little bit about that. And um, I'll wrap up by telling you why. Why am I even doing this? Why am I doing a course? All right, so let's uh, let's get into that, that first topic. What is actually in the course? So the course is divided um, into several different uh, modules. Um, so we have a couple review modules to start. Uh, I'm gonna review the order of survey in the public land survey system. And then the second review module, I'm gonna just go over the conditions of corners. So found, lo uh, found obliterated, and lost. We'll, we'll cover that briefly. I'm not going to go in depth onto those two things. So it's just a review so you can understand the rest of the course. Um, I may, depending on what kind of response we get to this course, go in and do um, a PLSS basics course where we cover some of that information. So just a review. Those two modules will be relatively short, the two review modules. Okay, in the very first module, main module of the course, we're going to talk about principles of corner restoration. So instead of giving you guys just a list of rules, I'm gonna try and teach you the principles behind the rules. I think that makes it much easier to remember the rules if you can understand the principles. So we've got uh, Landon's principles for corner restoration that we're gonna go over. Um, I think those will help you. There's only three or four. So we'll talk about those and then we'll talk about how they're related to the rules uh, for corner restoration. In uh, module two, we're gonna talk about the actual methods of corner restoration. So we're gonna go through those, the single proportion, the double proportion, two point control, three point control, um, uh, intersection. So we'll go, we'll go through those and talk about where they're used and, and the rough mechanics of how they work. Uh, one thing I'm not gonna cover is I'm not gonna cover mean bearing or grant boundary line adjustment method. Uh, it may be that I do another course on some advanced PLSS stuff where we talk about that, but we're not correcting for the latitudinal curve on the standard parallel. So I'm not gonna get into that super, super tricky stuff um, in this course, but we will go over those basic methods of corner restoration. Um, and then the next um, two modules are gonna be simple examples. So we're gonna do a simple example of a single proportion. We're gonna work through that together. Then we're gonna do uh, a, a a simple example of a double proportion. We'll work through that together. Then we'll do uh, two more examples. These will be more difficult. So we'll do a, a slightly more difficult example of a single proportion. We're gonna work the whole thing together in that module. And then in uh, the fifth module, we'll uh, do the same thing for a more difficult double proportion. And then in module uh, six and seven, we'll, we'll, module six, we'll do two point control. We'll talk about how that works and do an example. Module seven, we'll do three-point control and work an example. Um, so that's the main, the main chunk of the course. Then we have two, what I call extra bit modules. So those are modules where I, I give you guys just some extra stuff, try and get you a little bang for your buck. So uh, I'm gonna offer some real life practice tips. Um, as I mentioned in, in the first video about this course, you know, I think uh, we probably overemphasize restoration of lost corners in our exams. Um, it's not something I do a lot um, as a boundary surveyor. There's, there's many things that I do way more often than that. Um, so I'm just gonna offer some tips on, hey, when should you be doing this? You know, when should you be using these methods? When does the BLM manual apply or not apply? Um, and you know, what are some things you should think about if you're gonna go in and try and use a corner restoration method on a lost corner? I have done it. I've done it more than once. There are a specific set of circumstances in the area where I practice where the need to restore corner, a lost corner is fairly common. So uh, I'll, I'll talk you through that. So that'll be in one of the extra bit modules, the first one. In the second one, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the BLM, local surveys, federal survey authority versus local survey authority, and then uh, the risk of surveying next to federal land. Uh, I'll talk about some problems, I think, with the, with the way the BLM um, currently handles surveys of federal land um, it's going to be very practical. Not, I'm not attacking the BLM, but I want. I think it's important if you're going to be a licensed surveyor that 
you understand that there's some special risks when you're surveying up against federal land. So we'll talk about that. You don't have to watch those modules if you don't want, uh, but they're going to be there. It's, it's some practical information to help you beyond just the exam, uh, help you with, with actual practice. Okay, so uh, the exams I talked about a little bit in the previous video, but uh, we, we've got uh, three basic types of exams. So we've got the basic multiple choice, uh, the multiple choice uh, application test where you work off some exhibits or, or problem scenario. And then we have the advanced exam, which is more like a short form answer or essay. Um, and so there will be in-class exams and there will be take home exams. Um, so the in-class exams, we will work uh, together. I will work through those answers uh, in a video. Each of the, the in-class exams will have a video. The take-home exam is for you to take home. There'll be a fillable PDF. You fill that out, you send it back, we'll grade it. I personally will grade it. I'll score you, we'll tell you what you missed, what you got right, and then we'll send you back a, a little a one sheet analysis of, of where you might be weak and where you might be strong based on your exam results. Okay, so that, that's, what, that's, how, uh, that's what's in the course. Let's talk a little bit about um, how the tickets work. So there's three types of tickets. And what I'm trying to do with the types of tickets is Number one, uh, make this available to as many people as I can. I, I don't want to price people out. Um, and then I also um, broke this up a little bit because you may not need all of the, of the practice. You, need, you may not need to work all of the exams. Maybe this is just a review for you. So I don't want you to have to pay for stuff that you don't need. So there's three types of tickets. The first type is just a donation ticket. Uh, you can give me a dollar or a hundred dollars. It's up to you. Um, anything in that range. So you just, if, if you are uh, trying to, to pass your survey exam and you've got some, some tough financial you know, circumstances, whatever, you just got laid off or you got five kids and the price of gas is outrageous and you're taking care of your sick mother-in-law, I don't want you to not be able to go to the course because you can't afford it. You can go on there and give me a dollar. Um, so what do you get with that ticket? If you, if you use the donation ticket, um, you basically get access to all the video instruction um, and the handouts, okay? So it, you're, you're gonna be able to get the instruction there. So it doesn't include any of the exams, uh, but it does give you access to the video lecture and the handouts, which I think is the most important part. Okay, the next ticket, second type of ticket's what I call bare bones. So it's got a little more than the, uh, the donation ticket. So if you go with the bare bones ticket, you're gonna get all the video instruction and the handouts, plus you're gonna get the videos for the in-class exams. So you'll be able to download those in-class exams, take them and then watch the video where I work through all the answers. Okay, and then finally the full featured uh, ticket that I have is, is basically everything. So it's the video lecture, the handouts, the in-class exams, and it's also the take home exams. And as I mentioned before, if you, if you pay, pay for the full featured ticket, uh, you'll be able to send me your take home exam answer sheets. I will grade those and get them back to you with some feedback. I'm personally gonna grade them. Okay, so how much are the tickets? The donation ticket I mentioned is anything you want to give. So it could be as little as a dollar. Uh, the bare bones ticket is $99. And I put the full feature ticket at $149. Now I did limit the number of people that can take uh, the full featured exam uh, or the full featured course with the take home exams. Uh, I limited it to 50 people. Why did I do that? Uh, I did that because I, you know, I'm going to spend a considerable amount of time grading each of the exams and get you guys your feedback. So I just, I have to limit that number. If 300 people signed up, I, it would take me six months to get that done. So I limited it to 50 people. I think I can get through 50 people in a couple weeks. I can get through grading those exams in a couple weeks and, and get the feedback returned to you. Um, so I, I will try and do that. So there is a limit. Um, I also have a limit of about 100 people, I think, on the bare bones ticket. So, um, you know, 150 people, the class will be full. Um, it'll be wonderful if I can help that many people. Um, if for some reason I get surprised and the class fills up, it's not a big deal. I'll schedule another class in a few months. You know, maybe I end up doing this once a year. Um, so. If, if it sells out and you don't get a ticket, I don't want you to, don't beat yourself up. Uh, I'll, I'll teach the class again if, if it gets good, if it gets a good response, I'll teach the class again. Uh, one thing I didn't mention in, in the either video, the earlier one or this one yet is um, what, what if you have questions? So the way, the way we're gonna do this is the videos are all gonna be pre-recorded. The instruction videos, there's gonna be a web page uh, on Eventbrite probably where you can go, you can watch all the videos, you can download the handouts and the sample exams. 
So you'll be able to access that whenever you want, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I, I did some polling on LinkedIn. That's what you guys told me you wanted. However, I do have a scheduled date. I believe it's at the end of September where I am gonna make myself available for a few hours to answer your questions about the course. So if you wanna take the course before that, and then uh, we're gonna do a Zoom session. Uh, you guys will be able to jump on to Zoom and uh, you'll be able to interact with me directly and get your questions answered. I will try and do that. You know, if there's, for some reason there's typos in the sample exams or the handouts, you can let me know, we'll, we'll get that fixed. Uh, so you are gonna have an opportunity for some one-on-one -on -one interaction with me, which I think is important. There you go. Now you know a little bit about what's in the actual course. Um, if you need help with public lands and you're prepping for Surveyor exams, I hope you sign up if it sounds like a good fit, and I hope I get to interact with you a little bit. Um, it'd be nice to meet you guys and, and get to know future surveyors, and uh, I hope the course uh, is something that helps you folks, and um, if, if you guys like it and, and, and I get good feedback, then uh, we'll do some more courses on some different topics.